Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new here, we make paperclip uh, art. So we take these paper clips and we turn them into things like Steve here, or my chainmail belt here, yada, yada, yada. But today we're doing tutorials, maybe a ball, whatever. So we're gonna learn how to do European four in one chainmail weave. That is the same weave my gloves are made out of. It is a very traditional weave. It was the first one I ever learned a couple decades ago. And we're going to teach y'all how to do it with our lovely shower curtain rings, which make for some nice training lessons. Step one, very simple. Take four rings and close them. Like so. Get yourself a fifth ring. Open it up and loop that ring through all four of those. Just like so. You're gonna take two and spread it out like that. So now you got two, one, and two. Nothing to it, everybody can get to that point. You're just gonna drop it on the table. See how it makes this nice, lovely arrangement? Well, that is already European form one. Now we're, of course, gonna add to that, <laughs> but that is European form one. Simplest form, but it is European form one. So it's called that because each ring, the one, has four other rings attached to it. So next step, we're gonna grab another ring. We're gonna put a closed ring on that ring. We're gonna put another closed ring on that ring. So now we got a two and we got a one, nothing to it. Take that open ring and you're gonna hook it through just this ring and this ring, just the top two. So that's all we did was hook that ring to those top two. And then, we've just expanded it. Nothing to it, very simple. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna set this one aside. Four rings. Closed. Fifth ring open. Close. Separate it and drop it. Now, instead of putting the other two rings on first this time, we're just going to take an open ring. We're going to grab just these top two rings, and we're going to hook it through. And then close. But, we still got to add two more rings to that, because we didn't add them ahead of time. So, hooked, close, hooked, close. Now we've got two segments. Now we gotta add them together. So what you wanna do is you gotta lay them down flat or hold them in your hand flat, whatever, just so that they look the same. So you can see how these outer edge pieces are both laying the same direction. The middle pieces are both laying the same direction. Doesn't always work out that way. Let's intentionally flip this one over. There. Now I've just reversed it, so they're not laying the same. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can, I don't know. But you need to flip it around until you get both your strands to lay the proper directions that they match. Still wrong. And there's the match. Now that we got the match, we're gonna connect the two together. So I'm gonna take a ring open it up, and we're gonna go through all four of those. So through, and through, and through. Close it up, and now this new middle ring matches this one, and that one, and that one, and that one. One more to go. Through the top four. And close it up. Now, if you just do that on repeat about a thousand more times, you can make yourself some nice little gloves. For those of you who want to learn some more, get some more tutorials, hit that follow button. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> 